Hi everyone, it's Chris here from OPMC. You know, 2024 looks like another revolution in how we integrate AI into all kinds of daily e-commerce activities. From asking voice assisted speakers to order dinner, write content or do SEO, or best protect our stores against fraud, the world is rapidly changing and your e-commerce business needs to be on board with that to remain 100% relevant. While you may think of AI algorithms for creating a blog post or automating your sales transactions, these AI tools are just as valuable for many other aspects of your operations. The goal is to enhance the customer experience so they keep returning to your storefront and clicking on that add to cart button. So with that said, here are some of the more significant ways AI will influence this year's e-commerce industry. Number one on my list is designing artwork and content. You know, there are tons of AI generative platforms like Dali and Midjourney that allow you to craft highly engaging artwork from nothing more than a writing prompt. You have to have a good writing prompt though. You could say something like, give me an image of a dog wearing an astronaut costume and then put that image on a print on delivery product business for revenue. With so many products, blog articles, online ads, and social media to feed content, these AI tools enhance the user experience and attract more visitors to your website. Number two on my list is streamlining inventory management. Inventory is always a hassle to maintain. Part of the reason so many companies turn to drop shipping or digital products is to avoid messing with tracking and recording products in a warehouse. AI makes managing inventory systems extremely easy. Everything is intuitive and based on the unique needs of your online business. That could be predicting trends from analyzed sales data or streaming systems to minimize overstocking and stockouts. Number three on my list is lowering chargebacks and friendly fraud. You know, AI helps detect and prevent future fraudulent transactions from chipping away at your e-commerce income. It can automatically detect certain anomalies, like ordering from blacklisted geographic regions or sending a notification if a particular IP address is ordering an exorbitant amount of product. Your e-commerce business needs safeguarding and modern tools are helping fraudsters take advantage of everyone. Having a multi-layered defense using AI ensures you don't fall victim to these charges through your website, payment processor, or hosting platform. Well, number four on my list is reducing manual labor through automation. The entire point of AI is to reduce manually repetitive and mundane tasks. That efficiency is what is driving so much innovation in this field. When applied to an e-commerce business, you can reduce your workload, team members, and not that we want to get rid of people, and human errors. Um, you have to balance a fine line between automation and delivering a quality customer experience. But that's going to be much better than constantly feeling overwhelmed during, for example, the busy holiday season. Number five on my list is increasing conversion rates. AI algorithms are fantastic at analyzing customer behaviors and preferences. You can use these insights to boost your interactions, product recommendations, and website layouts. The more you can increase user engagement based on the insights gained from AI in operating your e-commerce business, the better you can increase conversion rates. Well, number six on my list is automating customer support. Like it or not, chatbots are here to stay. However, you can improve these tools using AI power. Customer service gets a big boost because now you have a system that operates all the time and partly by itself, or we'd like to think it does anyway. The point is to offer customers answers to crucial questions and help with any other need when they want it the most. That convenience is an immense help in improving your online reputation. And it just makes it easier for customers, right? Number seven on the list is personalization. I think today's consumers want a personalized experience with any e-commerce business they order from. 
it helps a lot. They want to find new products and get discounts based on their previous interactions with the brand. And I'm starting to see a lot of that in the market. You can use AI to tailor this, this experience directly related to the individual preferences of a targeted user. And that makes them feel more appreciated, leading to higher purchasing rates. Number eight on my list is cross-selling and upselling. AI can be predictive. It can generate product suggestions in relation to the historical and relevant data of a user in real time. For example, if you run a mountain climbing company where a user has purchased rope and carabiners and is now looking at harnesses, AI could suggest socks, flashlights, and even new attachments to maximize the value of a single transaction. And best of all, those recommendations and suggestions are personalized. It's not just something you've set up in advance. Number nine on the list is the idea machine. Probably the least talked about, but most valuable part of AI is the way of taking general ideas and giving them more weight with practical insights and descriptions. If you had a hard to explain product, you could use AI to generate a streamlined description that you can customize and personalize. Or if you want to expand your business but aren't so sure how to do that, you can toss ideas at AI for it to generate ideas you may have never considered. So to conclude on all of this, the AI genie is never being put back in the bottle. We now live in a world where e-commerce will be 100% impacted by AI tools and algorithms. And I think that's a good thing. The key now is learning how best to leverage these tools for an improved customer experience. That way, you can transform your e-commerce business into a juggernaut of revenue and start calling yourself an OG, right? Well, that's all from me for today. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give us a thumbs down and tell us why. But in any case, please subscribe to our videos, uh, subscribe to our channel so that uh, we can get some encouragement and motivation to make more videos, make better videos for you, and we're always open to your feedback. All right, that's it from me. Thanks, everyone.